Hey George, Mum told you to do your laundry. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, got it, got it. Sit, sit, wait. Well, Mum's gonna be back home really soon, so um, yeah, you should probably get to it soon. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, soon, 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 soon. Later, later. Right. Okay. I'll leave you to it then. A few moments later. Hey buddy, why is that still there? Didn't I tell you to do it like 30 minutes ago? Your mom's gonna be back soon, so, you know. Brother, I need to reach Platinum by the end of the season. My friends and I have been playing and grinding. I can't be the only one that's not Platinum. <sighs> well, it's okay. Well, don't blame me for the consequences when mom knows. Hi kids! Today we'll be continuing to look at the big story across the Bible and we are up to 1 Kings chapter 11. This story is all about King Solomon who is the son of King David. We're going to be looking at Solomon's big mistake. Let's find out what happened. God kept his promises to Abraham. When David was king, the people were a large nation. They were living in the land God had promised, and they were very happy. But things didn't stay like that. David got old and died. His son Solomon became king. God made Solomon very wise. He also made Solomon very rich. Solomon built God a beautiful temple. Kings and queens from all over the world came to see Solomon. But Solomon made a mistake, a big mistake. Instead of having one wife, he had many wives. Solomon's wives didn't come empty handed. They brought their pretend gods, pretend gods made of wood and gold. They bowed down to them. They prayed to them. They had special parties for them. And what did Solomon do? He joined them. He bowed down and prayed to the pretend gods. He even had special buildings built for them. And all God's people did what Solomon did. And God was very angry with Solomon. God said, because you disobeyed me, I'm going to take your kingdom away from you. Solomon made a very big mistake. He followed his wives who followed pretend gods. And then God's people followed King Solomon and they followed pretend gods as well. They all disobeyed God, their king. And so God would punish them. Disobedience ruined everything again. God's people need a king who will obey. I wonder who that king would be. 